Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last two videos, I have been showing you how to load or populate a combo box with your MySQL database using your Visual Basic Windows Form application like this. And when you select any uh, item in the combo box, the corresponding values from uh, the database may appear or should come into these text boxes. So I, in the last two videos, I have been showing you this and in this video, I will show you how to do exactly the same things with the list box. So let's get started. It's not much uh, if you have already seen last two videos for combo box, just go to the text box or toolbox and take a list box from here and what I'm going to do is I will go to the form load event so if you have seen the video number nine in that I have shown you how to populate your combo box with the database values so in that I have shown you how to write a code in this form load event so just select your form and just double click it and in the form load event I have shown you how to populate or a combo box with the database values which is this one so in here I have shown you all the code to load a combo box so you don't need to change much in the this code in order to load the values in the list box what you need to do is just go to this while loop and in here I have written the code in the video number 9 combo box dot items dot add so just below this line just write the name of your list box which is list box 1 dot items so list box also contains items and it also has the function called add so what I have done basically is just replace the or just added this list box instead of combo box and all will remain same what this line will do is it will populate the list box with name values and if you don't know how I have written all this code for loading uh, the combo box with the database value just go to the video number 9 and you will understand how I have done it okay and now when I run the program I will give the username and password And you see here all the values from the database is the same as we have seen in the combo box also and it's populated in the list box also right so this is how to populate a list box in the same manner as your combo box now next is to show the values in the text boxes corresponding to the, these names which are fetched from the database right so for that you also don't need to do much you just go to the code where I have written the code to populate these text boxes corresponding to the value selected in the combo box and this I have shown you in the last video so if you don't know this code just see the last video in which I have shown you how to show corresponding values in the text box which is selected in the combo box just copy all the code from here and just select your list box and double click it and paste it here okay and in this code I am just going to change one line of code which is I'm going to just change the query of this of this um, 
MySQL query string, right? So what you need to change in this query is just replace the name of the combo box with a list box. List box one dot text, and all the code will remain same. And if you don't know how have I have written this code, just watch the last video, right? And just change in this query string, select star from database dot the table name where name is equal to instead of combo box, just replace the combo box with the list box, and this will work fine. Let's check whether this code is working or not once again. And username and password. And when I select some name in the list box, the corresponding values to the name in the database will appear here. So this is also working. It's just like combo box, but this list box is to show all the values or list all the values, and combo box is just to select the right. So in this way, you can uh, populate your list box and show the corresponding values selected in the list box to the text boxes. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And bye for now.